So sometimes I order so many things that I don't even know what I order. And so this is going to be a, a mystery opening or unboxing or unenveloping. <laughs> and uh, your guess is as good as mine is what's in here. I do know it's probably vintage or antique. And hold on. Let me just check. Okay. There's nothing else in there. I always double check. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, now, I generally try to find bargains as much as I can. Oh, okay. All right. So this is actually something that's pretty, pretty cool. And how much did I pay for it? <laughs> I paid. Hold on. Oh, I tried to do that cool thing that people do. Like that. Oh, there you go. I paid 50 doll hairs for it. So I actually connived the seller into, she had an opening bid. Uh, actually, not an opening bid, but a buy it now for $125. She had zero feedback and, I mean, never sold a, a thing. And she had a make an offer button. So I made an offer of $50 and she accepted. And then after I paid for it, she sort of asked me, uh, do you know more about this? This was my great grandmother's and uh, I'd like to know more about this. And I didn't want to tell her anything about it because if I told her anything about it she might say oh you know what I'm not selling it to you for fifty dollars now and I'm keeping it and uh, all right so what does it say on the back so we do know now it's a brooch okay so let's check it out it says the name Lillian Russell hmm who's Lillian Russell well let's flip it over and wow okay this is in much better shape than I actually thought it was going to be in Okay, so Lillian Russell was an iconic, iconic actress uh, during the 19th century and the early 20th century. And so she was actually quite a woman. And so I really wanted this pin because it's not only a beautiful old brooch. Now, I'm going to guess that it was made about 1900, maybe about 1905. Now, I checked the back of the pin. It has an early lever um, or safety catch. It, it uh, actually does not have um, what's known as a T-bar hinge. It has a rounded hinge. But uh, this actually would date it probably about 1900 to about 1910. Somewhere right around there. And uh, so this is actually really old. Hand painted. It does have like two little scratches over there. I can actually touch that up, believe it or not, and make that actually disappear uh, very, very easily. I'm not an artist, but it's very easy to do that on these old porcelain brooches. Now, this is iconic, really, really iconic to have a, an original Lillian Russell pin. So Lillian Russell was an American actress and singer. She became one of the most famous actresses and singers of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Known for her beauty and style as well for her voice and stage performance, Russell was born in Clinton, Iowa, but raised in Chicago. So here we go, Lillian Russell, one of the most famous actresses and singers of the late 19th and early and 20th centuries. Now, she was, uh, again, known for her beauty and style. She began to perform professionally by 1879, singing for Tony Pastor and playing roles in comic opera, including Gilbert and Sullivan works. And here's some photos of her. And you can see she was uh, very, very beautiful. And uh, so composer Edward Solomon created roles in several several of his comic operas for her in London. And uh, in 1884, they returned to New York and married in 1885. But in 1886, Solomon was arrested for bigamy. Apparently, he never annulled his previous marriage. And uh, yes, okay, and she moved on. Uh, for many years, she was the foremost singer, singer of operettas and musical theater in the United States, performing continuously throughout the end of the 19th century. In 1899, she joined Weber and Fields Music Hall, where she started. Uh, she starred for five years. After 1904, she began to have vocal difficulties and switched to dramatic roles. She later returned to musical roles in vaudeville and retired from performing in 1919. Now, she was ma <laughs> married four times, uh, but her longest relationship was with Diamond Jim Brady who supported her extravagant lifestyle for four decades. Now, Diamond Jim Brady was a character in himself. Um, if you look up Gi Diamond Jim Brady, he had about 
a, a forty-six million dollar collection of diamonds. He just loved diamonds. That's why they called him Diamond Jim Brady. But he loves something else as well. As long as um, along with her, both of them loved to eat. Yes, both of them, Diamond Jim Brady and her, loved to eat. Diamond Jim Brady was known to eat in just one one like five minutes sitting two pounds of chocolate, like five steaks. Um, several pieces of pie, a whole gallon of, uh, orange juice, uh, six lobsters, a side of beef. Um, I'm not kidding you. Um, and it goes on and on and on. And he had about six meals like that every single day. She, along with him. Now she became huge. And when I say huge, um, not only a huge actress, but she was large and in charge. Um, she was 200 pounds. Now back then women, uh, were not 200 pounds. It was uh, really uh, not too many 200 pound ladies walking around. But as you can see, even weighing 200 pounds, she was quite gorgeous um, and beautiful. And it didn't really matter how much she weighed. And I'm not fat shaming. Trust me, I'm above. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit I'm probably like above that. And uh, there we go. And so here she is many, many, many photos. You can see uh, how gorgeous she was, despite all her 200 pounds eating away with Jim Brady. Now, she was a women's suffragist. Her mother was a women's suffragist. What the hell is that, you might ask? Well, back then, women would fight for the right to vote. And this was before ladies were given the right to vote. Her mother, uh, actually, women weren't allowed to be in politics. It was a no-no. You weren't even supposed to discuss politics. And so uh, her mother actually ran for mayor in the 1800s. Yes, she ran for mayor. And she was a women's suffragist. She fought for the rights of women. She had a gilded golden bicycle made by Tiffany's. And uh, I think it was 24 karat gold with mother of pearl handles. The spokes were covered in gems spelling out her name. And she created a sensation that women wanted to start riding bicycles. She even wore a special outfit um, for bicycle riding and women started to actually follow the fashion and ride bicycles. And uh, so here she is in all her uh, glitz and glamour. This is 18, oops, what was that? 1893. And here we go. So we got some cool stuff. Now I'm going to let you watch her sing for 15 seconds. There is a color video of her singing. And we'll go ahead and find that really fast. And we'll conclude our video and get back to what's the value of a brooch like this and why did I want it so bad? Okay, so we're going to listen to her sing. It's 15 seconds, guys, in color. So, <laughs> all right, and I'm doing this for my cell phone. So, all right, you ready? One, two, three. Let's see that again. Oh, what the hell are we doing? Oh, is this her singing? Oh, it's some montage over there.
Okay, so why in the hell did I want that brooch so bad? And, uh, by the way, you might think I'm unscrupulous by, uh, you know, not telling that lady, uh, it's real value. But guess what? It says Lillian Russell on the back of the pin. All she had to do was Google that name and the word, uh, word brooch like we're doing here. And we can see the value. So here we go. Here's, uh, these are very rare, by the way. Uh, $895 for a vintage painted on porcelain Lillian Russell brooch without it even being real gold. And, uh, here we go. Um, this is actually a reproduction, by the way. Don't get caught up and end up getting a reproduction by accident. <laughs> and so we'll go back to our Ruby Lane pin and let's visit and let's check it out. All right. And I am sorry, here we go. So here is an example of a pin, $895, not nearly as big as mine. And uh, mine is like way bigger, here we go. This one has a really nice brass, um, you know, adornment going around it, but there you go. That's an example of what these brooches sell for. And look, on the back, Lillian Russell, aha. Uh -huh. And here's the sideway view, okay. So now you know what these uh, values of these brooches are. I'll show you another one. These are very rare and hard to come by. Okay, so here's another one on eBay. $450, half the size of, of mine, and uh, not even real gold, uh, copper. $450. Uh, let's just look at the picture and check it out. And, uh, oh, God, no. No. All right, here we go. So, uh, yep, and the person only put one picture. And... Uh, that's insane. Wait, hold on. My goodness. All right. So, yep, it's uh, 450 US dollars. Um, and there's not many of these pins around to be had. Uh, so I really scored nicely with that $50 purchase. So as you can see, this is an enormous, enormous brooch. And uh, as you can see, she was quite famous. And everybody wanted to wear a pin with her face on it, especially women who were for the women's rights movement. Um, she was an icon for it, an iconic actress, an iconic singer, an iconic beauty, and somebody who was actually uh, quite large and voluptuous. Uh, she was like the Marilyn Monroe of her day. As a matter of fact, I believe Marilyn Monroe is seen on a bicycle posing as Lillian Russell in one of her movies. I don't know for sure, but I did see pictures of Marilyn Monroe as Lillian Russell in some kind of scene of some sort on a gilded bicycle. And uh, she had created uh, fashions that made the women's skirts shorter by like three to four inches so they can ride a bicycle. She enabled ladies to actually uh, be considered allowed to at the time when it was like a man's type of thing to ride bicycles um that's actually quite cool everybody wanted to be like this girl she was like the total it girl um she would have been actually a great silent film star if she still uh lived past i think 1917 uh if you think about it this is an amazing amazing find you do not see lillian russell brooches very often and if you do you're going to pay quite a big large amount of money for them even if they're not real gold. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, watching some old uh, like film of her for 15 seconds. The montage of photos with her actually singing an old opera song. And uh, learning a little something about history. And about uh, jewelry. And about actresses and singers and operas. And Diamond Jim Brady. And all sorts of things. See you guys all soon and so long. And I'm really glad I uh, actually nabbed this for 50 doll hairs. Oh, my God, this seller. <laughs> if she would have known, um, she would have been really, uh, really disappointed <laughs> to, to know that she sold this for only 50. But like I said before I go, you have to Google. I don't feel sorry for people don't, that don't actually have enough intelligence or uh, even any kind of motivation to Google something. It would take three minutes. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. So long.